Hey everybody, it's Preston here, aka Godzilla Hawk, and I'm your two-time current and longest reign Wrestling Guru Society No DQ World Champion. And I told you guys I was going to be giving you guys a video yesterday, a video game review, but I I was not in the mood. I was a little tired, so I decided not to. But I'm going to do the review. I'm going to do the review right now. So here it is the House of the Dead 2 and 3 return. Um, for those of you that not heard about these um, House of the Dead games, let me give you a little backstory. Um, it was one of the most popular and probably one of the best uh, shooters, um, arcade shooters. Um, very fun game. I remember when this game came out. Uh, I remember I was a kid and I was at Straw Hat Pizza and I remember they had the very first game out. And I would play and play. I have a fun time but I just sucked at it. Ah, I'm going to be honest. I did awful. And I still have not beaten the first game. Um, but I do have 2 and 3 here. Yes, it's House of Dead number 2 and 3. Only one game. It's very good. Um, pretty fair, right? You get two games in one. Um, yeah, it's very, very good game. I enjoy it. I consider it one of my favorite video games uh, right now. I play it from time to time. In fact, uh, I actually played it. Um, I did the House of the Dead 3 walkthrough on this. So, and I did House of the Dead 2 walkthrough last year. So, um, I'm going to basically talk about both games and I'm going to give my honest opinions on each one. And then I'm going to give my overall rating of this entire game. Uh, we'll start with number two since that one's first. It takes place uh, after the events of the first one. Um, Gold um, Goldman is the main bad guy. He decides to take Dr. Kirian's uh, secrets and he starts creating an army of zombies. And they come and attack the city. It's up to James and Gary uh, to try to stop Goldman. And kill, kill all the zombies. Uh, the graphics, uh, for today's standards, it's nothing really special. But in my opinion, I like the graphics. I'm, it's more colorful. It's a little bit brighter. Yeah, they may see, seem a little like a little outdated because the game I think was made in thinking 1999 or 2000. I think I can't remember which one. But yeah, I, I totally understand why. Yeah, actually it was made in 1999. Um, so the graphics were still trying to prove. Um, but yeah, I like the graphics. They're very colorful and everything. Um, the gameplay itself, um, it's just basically like the arcade shooter, except you could choose an option to um, have the blood and gore off. Yeah, if you did realize this game is Ray M. Um, yeah, amazingly for blood, gore, and violence. And there's some mild language in here. Like, they'll say, bastard, um, hell, damn. But it's very, very brief. And there's, honestly, there's like hardly, there's really hardly any language in these games. Uh, they only curse a handful of times, so cursing's not really a problem. But yeah, gameplay's fine. Um, basically, in order to reload your gun, you just shoot off screen like you did in the arcade. So simple. Um and it's a def it's definitely a fair challenge. Um it starts off kind of simple. I mean once if you play for the first time, it might get a little tricky, but um once you've played over and over and over again, I can beat the first level without losing a single life. It is it's that easy. Um what I like about it is there's two modes. There's arcade mode and original mode. If you do arcade mode, I think it only gives you like five credits. I'm thinking about it as core credits. So the more money you put in, the more credits you get. But again, this is the video game, so you can't put cores in there. So you are stuck with five, and your goal is to basically get through the game. But if you do original, you have all these different items. And you can select these items and you can use these items. So for example, you can pick like 10 plus credit and that gives you 10 extra credit. So you have, yeah, or you can choose like different guns, more bullets, more lives, 
It definitely helps. I prefer playing original mode because it's more fun. Um, the bosses. There are bosses in this game. Um, the bosses. Some are simple, some are hard. The first boss I would have to say is pretty easy. As long as you know how to beat him. Second boss is... I would say kind of easy, kind of between easy and medium. He can get kind of tough at times, but overall he's not hard. The third boss, um, I would say probably about the same, um, easy slash medium. He can be kind of tricky at times, but if you know what to do, he's pretty easy. Fourth boss is definitely when it gets harder. Fourth boss is definitely like a medium or hard. Um, the reason why is because you have to shoot his head and he's blocking um, his head with a giant chainsaw and it gets in your way. It's very annoying. Um, fifth, you have to basically face the first and second boss again. Plus a new boss, which is the magician from the uh, first game. And he's kind of hard unless you know how to, unless you know what to do. And then finally, you got the last one where you face the third level boss again. And then you face a new boss with no weakness. Um, the final boss is a little tricky. As long as you know what to do, he's not very, very hard. As long as you know the other um, boss's weaknesses, you'll understand. Because he shape shifts sometimes into past bosses. He had to basically aim for their weakness in order for him to lose energy. Um, there's not really a whole much to say about the second game. Um, the gameplay's fun, but the acting is very, very bad. The lip syncing's awful. Um, I'm not gonna lie, but it is very fun. Um, one of the things I have the most fun is the first level. Uh, there's a kid that comes out of the um, of a house or apartment. Um, normally, if you shoot people, you lose a life. That's how it goes. If you shoot someone, you lose a life. If you save someone, then sometimes they give you life. Or, for each level, if you save enough people, depending on how many people you save, you'll get an extra life. Sometimes even two lives. So it's very interesting. And it, very, and it helps you a lot in the later stages. Uh, so definitely try to help people. But I remember me and my friends, we always come to that kid. Sometimes we shoot him by accident. And sometimes on purpose. And don't get me wrong, I don't like killing kids. It's just a video game. And the only reason we like to sometimes kill the kids is because he makes his, not only does he make the sound, this ah sound, but he flies back and it's, it's just funny. Um, again, I, I'm not trying to say that like, killing kids is a good thing, but in this game, it's just funny. Um, I try not to do it, but sometimes I can't resist because I'm trying to beat the game and I don't want to lose lives. I don't want to lose on purpose. That's just my only thing. So if people have, so if people watch this video and they hear this comment and they start giving negative thoughts, I'm going to say it right now, guys. Killing kids in reality is awful. I don't enjoy killing kids. Killing is wrong in reality. But in this video game, it's just funny. It's not even a real kid, just a computer generated kid. None of these people are real, so it's okay. It's just a video game. No sweat, please. So don't, no negative com commentary from anybody, or I'll just remove you. Simple as that. So overall, that's the second game. Uh, good gameplay. Um, Good, um, I say good, um, difficulty, and, um, acting's horrible. Like I said, acting's just awful. When you play this game, you, you'll, if, unless you know, if you play this game or right, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's pretty bad. But overall, um, it's good. And as for the blood gore, if you go up to actual highest blood gore saying, it is pretty gory. Like, you see them bones, your heads fall off, there's holes and stuff. But second game's fun. Third game now. Uh, third game, the graphics are way better. Um, some people might consider it's almost like a Resident Evil type of graphics, if that kind of makes sense. Um, and instead of a pistol, you start off with a shotgun. Um, actually, the entire game you have a shotgun. That's a good thing and a bad thing. Now I'll explain why. The good thing, the reason it's a good thing with the shotgun is because you can kill the enemies faster. They're easier to get rid of. 
The thing I hate about it though, it takes longer to reload. With the pen, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, in the second game you have a pistol, this is all you have to do. When you run out of ammo, point the screen, it goes on, and it automatically refills. See, watch this. Pretend it's a zero right here, okay? Oh man, I'm out of bullets. That's how it works, right? But this is how it works in the third game. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, last bullet. Bam, okay. I swear that's what it does. It goes and it wastes a second. And when there's a whole and there's when there's a whole bunch of zombies chasing after you and you're trying to reload, you have to try to kill them as soon as possible. Make sure to get all the front ones first and then try to go out or at least get the stronger ones. Honestly, that's I think that's one of the main reasons that I think the third one's more difficult is it's not just the bosses or the levels, it's the fact that your reloading sucks and it takes longer. Even though it takes a second, um, if you compare it to the other game, the other game you just reload and then you're on magnetic field. But with the third game, you reload and it pumps and then you're ready to go. So it takes a while, a little a while longer. Um, I'm not going to really explain the story. This actually takes place in the future. Um, Rogue game from the very first game gets captured and Ancient G from the first game um, teams up with um, Rogan's daughter and they go to try to save him. That's pretty much it. Um, the bosses. Um, first boss um, is Pretty simple, but not easy. He's simple, but not easy. Um, it can be tricky at times, especially when you're trying to pump your gun. It gets annoying. Sometimes he will hit you. So, um, you don't kill him because later you actually choose. What I like about this game is for, from 2 through 5, no, 2 through 4, you get to choose which level you want to start off with. So, it doesn't like go in order. You could just pick whichever one you want. But um, basically, the first level boss you basically face twice. Uh, you face him in the first level, and then depending on which other levels, um, you'll face him again. That's when you actually kill him. Next boss is a giant plant. He's very tricky, especially when you have to keep pumping your gun. It's a pain in the ass. Um, the same will shoot vines. It shoots like uh, pale things, like this white little flower stuff. I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, this and that, it's a pain, especially when you have to keep reloading, and it takes forever. So third boss is pretty difficult. Then you got the sloth, I hate the sloth probably the most because he goes around the cage and sometimes he'll go really fast, and when you're trying to shoot its uh, weak points, which is our, the uh, feet, um, again, if you don't make those shots count, then you gotta reload and you gotta try to get again, and by the time you do that, it's too late. Um, so it'll get you. The final boss happens to be Dr. Kirian from the first game. Uh, the first game is just a scientist. This game is actually some kind of. I almost consider him almost like an electro type guy. Um, he's got electricity, he's in a giant wheel. He's definitely the hardest boss in this entire game. Not just in the third game, but the entire game. Um, no weakness, he barely takes any damage. Um, he does all this crazy stuff. Um, and especially reloading on this guy is a joke. Uh, when, this, when you face this guy, the game laughs at you. Because you know you have to reload every single time. And they know it takes a while and you will lose some lives. Lucky for me, since I've already beaten the game, I have free play mode, so that means I don't have, every time I die, I could just keep doing it over and over again, so I'm basically invincible, I can't die pretty much. Well, actually I shouldn't say that. You can die, but you can continue immediately, so it's just infinite, you know, continues. So that's my third, um, again, the acting in this game is not is slightly better than the first, but not by much. But the graphics are better, I would say. But for the gameplay itself, I mean, don't get me wrong, third game's still fun. But the main reason I don't play the third one as much is because of the stupid reloading. I hate the reloading in this game. It takes forever. This is, I think, this is the main pre 
Main reason why I like two better. Even though number two has some flaws, at least you're able to just shoot the screen and then you get your bullets. And then it's very simple. You could do it very fast. With the third game, you have to wait a second before you can actually start shooting. And by the time it's full, you'll get hit. So both games have their strengths and weaknesses, like I said. But if I had to rate this entire game um, out of 10, I give it about 7.5 or an 8. It's very great. It's a great shooter. Um, good zombie game. Mm. Good zombie game. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Left 4 Dead. I tried to play a few times, but I didn't really get into it. I know I'm going to have some haters, so I'm not going to report you because that's your opinion. I respect that. I'm just not a big fan of it. But if you guys are, good for you. But I prefer playing this. I, I'm more into those, these light gun type, type games. And I'll probably do um, House of the Dead Overkill, which is a prequel to the first game. Uh, probably maybe next year for Halloween. But um, overall, um, this game is very fun. So if you're a fan of light gun games, and if you're a fan of Wii games or zombie games, definitely get this game. It's a must-have. It's very fun to play, especially if you get another um, person to join it. It makes it more fun. So I recommend it. It's, it's a fun game. Very fun game. Uh, kind of short. Uh, I can honestly, I can beat this game in maybe a little over an hour. Honestly, I could beat this entire game a little over an hour now. But yeah, so I just wanted to tell you that. So, but you'll have fun with this game. It's not a game you're gonna be like, bam, bam, bam. Okay, I'm bored. You're gonna want. You're gonna play this game from time to time. It's pretty fun. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this interesting review. I know it might have not been the best review. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to do Halloween type videos, so since that this is a zombie game, I decided to review it. So, and since it's not a movie, I figured I shouldn't review another movie because I reviewed a, a bunch of movies already, so I figured I'd take a break and review a game, so that's what I did. So that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, sorry, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can subscribe to my channel, Cutzel Hawk. You can subscribe to all the other channels on the side. Um, don't forget, we will be doing a Rest of the Group Society Q&A. So send your questions in the Q&A um, inbox of Rest of the Group Society. You can ask me any question or any other member, any question you want. Um, it could be any question. And as you know, um, don't forget to vote down below for your President Pet Peeves on next episode. Um, if you guys don't continue to vote, I'll just pick the subject for you guys. Um, and yeah, as you know, I'm your two-time No DQ World Champion. And tomorrow is Halloween, and I will be doing a special review. I'll be doing my last review um, for Halloween for the month of October. And trust me when I say it, it's going to be very fitting, and you're going to understand why I decided to pick this move to pick this topic. Um, to do um, this on so definitely be prepared and ready for that um, that's all I have to say uh, happy almost Halloween guys enjoy and yeah definitely get this game if you have a Wii oh and one more thing if you have an Xbox on um, the third game is on Xbox so you can play the, play the third game on Xbox but I say it's just getting this because it's two games for the price of one so it's more fun like seriously, if, seriously, I could beat the third game with these, but with this, it's more fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I know I'm rambling, so let me just say right now, take care, guys. Happy, happy almost Halloween. I'll see you guys and talk to you guys tomorrow. And stay tuned, because I will be doing another video, my last video for October. Thank you. Goodbye.